if you've been watching the channel recently, you'll know that this guy has been begging me to come on the channel. Well, I finally gave in last time I showed one of his hits. Well, today he gets his own show. Let's have a look how good Mask really is. And for his first hit, he's only coming in with a Zap Slushy. Now, you guys know how much I love the Slushy. Well, I invented it, so I must love it. But Mask does a beautiful version, and I don't often see a Zap Slushy. He carves this bass up so beautifully. Watch what he does here. Yeti over at 130. I'm gonna clear out that first layer of buildings and get the Archer Tower, which is beautiful. He's then got a boulder sniping off the right. He's got the RC and the King now coming in to take care of that right-hand side. Super Wall Breaker down to help the King get in further than he would have done otherwise because he hasn't got the Yak with him. He's got Frosty in there. The Queen is specifically for the Town Hall. Now, I'm already looking at this thinking, wow, look, there's a Poison Tower. There's a Monolith on there. Builder Hut, like, there's a lot that's going to prevent this Queen from getting the kind of value that he really wants her to get. The Phoenix on the RC makes sure that she gets that little bit more value, but look at that. He zaps out everything around the Town Hall. Queen gets it easily. She's still full health now after using her ability. And he's up at over 30% of the base. Hasn't even started the slushy yet. Still got 26 loons, couple of hounds, and a blimp to go. Is he gonna use the blimp though, or is that gonna switch to a stone slammer? Because if he switched to a stone slammer, it's another hound, plus a load of trips. Here we go. Look at the S shape. He's going to start over here on the right hand side and on the left up there. He's going to push everything through into the eagle compartment and then down through the base to carve out the bottom. It is beautifully passed. The only thing he needs to do, he needs to snipe off this left hand compartment. So he needs to get in there as we look at that. And the pattern is perfect. Those hounds make it the whole way across to that air defense, which means the loons that he's placed over there get the value that he wants. I mean, it's just a thing of beauty. It really is. Clean up all down around the outside. He's got, he has actually got, yet he's in his blimp. Like, I think he, I think he was worried he wouldn't get the town hall. He was obviously cautiously optimistic about getting it with the queen, but thought maybe he didn't. But with all those zap spells, like, I can't think of any way he wouldn't have got it. So maybe, maybe he just thought, you know what? I'll get this whatever. Whatever it is, this is a beautiful hit up against Nick of all people from Nice Monkey. So Mask, GG my friend, a beautiful Zap Slushy, love it. Look, I don't care, yeah? Yes, Mask has had his own show now, he's got his own video. It doesn't mean you all get your own videos. Come on, listen, listen. listen. Just because of the team captain, doesn't mean... Hang on a second. Uh, just on the phone to boom. Um, listen to that instead. Subscribing is next level. Just like my wall breaking skills. Sorry. Um, yeah. What, what, what they said. What they said. Now his next hit up against... OM Muhammad from Betatron, and it's another Zap Slush. You look at that. Zapped out the. Oh, didn't quite get the Queen. Didn't quite get the Queen. Managed to get the Inferno Tower, the Builder Hut, and everything else, but it didn't quite get the Queen. I think he wanted that. Got a scatter shot, though, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good. So he's going to force his heroes in towards the Town Hall. RC over on the right. Golem down to protect the Queen over on the left. RC will clear out that whole right hand side, no problem. Got a little Wizard down to support as well. And is he. He's still. Look, he's still going. Still going with the the Phoenix for the RC. I've been taking the Phoenix with the King, but Phoenix with RC. I mean, I guess if you're sending her straight in against, like the Town Hall depart uh, uh, compartment with loaded defenses, yeah, it makes sense. But look at that. The Queen makes the whole way in. She's going to easily get the Town Hall. The RC is still going. She's, she's going to take out that Poison Tower just before she gets destroyed. Holy moly! Perfectly timed and busy spell. Going to make sure the Builder Hut goes down. Queen still able to get through that little bit extra now because of that help from the RC. King with ability still moving through on the left with a Flame Flinger behind him. Is it Yetis again? Is it Yetis and the Flame Flinger? Hopefully not. But you can see the pattern already. Most people would start at the Eagle. Let's be honest. Most people would start at the Eagle because then 
Warden's Tomb, we're getting through the Ego and the Monolith and everything else. He's already sniping off buildings down here in the south. He's trying to pull those CC troops away to make sure that they don't get in the way. And there we are. We're starting from the top and the right-hand side. He's got the Ice Hound moving in where all the Tesla farm is because the freeze radius on that is massive. And he's going to make sure that everything gets tied up. Oh, no. <laughs> he's gone even further. He's, he's protected everything with the Warden's Tome. He's trying to get the Ice Hound right in on top of the monolith because if it's if it explodes on the monolith it's gonna get the multi as <laughs> oh, oh, oh. man that was beautifully done like that core of that base didn't stand a chance he's swagging spells didn't need the skelly spell over there he's swagging spells like betatron didn't stand a chance against strut on this one absolutely stunning zap slushy nearly said lalo Zap Slushy. GG Mask. Another one. Well done. And for his next hit, he's going in with a... It's a Blizz Zap Lalo. Yeah. Look at that. Very, very short distance between the other side of the base and the town hall. He's risked a mini blimp. It's a mini Blizz. It's not a full Blizz. It's a mini Blizz. But it gets the value that he wants. And it's beautifully done. He's still got all those spells for zapping the core of the base because that's what he's going for he's going to try and get the eagle the monolith and the poison tower which leaves a beautiful c shape around the base to send his, his lalo um but he's already got the queen moving in on the left she's going to take care of the cc he's then going to push his heroes down this left hand side and i'm guessing he's going to lalo through the top look at that oh the zaps managed to get everything that he wanted he does have literally no spells for the lalo though I mean, people talk about naked Lalos when the Warden isn't there. What about naked Lalos because they have the Warden but they don't have any spells? Like, that's that's got to be a thing as well. Surely, surely. Enemy Queen, she's done. King and Queen now moving through. Not going to get into the single, so that might be an issue. Which way is he going to go here? Is he going to go multi from the bottom first? Or is he going to go in from the top and move his way down? I mean, he's still got his... Oh, his RC is now moving in. Here we go. He's starting from the top. He's going to send all those loons. Lalo killing all those buildings up top. He's got the cleanup in behind. The warden's still going as well. RC's with ability, man. This is huge. Like, this base is pretty much done. And he's still got three hero abilities. Like, who does that? Remember, Mask was MVP of the World Championship last year. And there's a reason for that. The guy is a machine. When it comes to, to Clash, especially Lalo, he could write the book on it. And look, he's shown it again. This is beautiful, man. Absolutely stunning. Loon's coming from every single... Like, it's a... Look! A balloon parade! Balloon. I think that's an air attack. No way! That's a beautiful balloon parade! Balloon! <laughs> Everywhere. There's loons coming from every part of this base. And it's done. It's trashed. It's complete. Mr. Maska, twice, Maskalicious, Maska, Chusets, Maska, whatever it is these days. GG, man. Well done. And that is it for another video. If you enjoyed what you saw today, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll be back very soon with more Classic Clans from Bastag Gaming. See you later.